Hello, this is Hylian7 and we have 1v1 solo mid, Madu versus Yarden24. Shadow Fiend pick and a Shadow Fiend pick. It's about to be a Shadow Fiend pick. There it is. Two Shadow friends against each other. Alright. So we have Yarden24 on the Dire and Madu on the Radiant. Alright, so we have a Wraith Band picked up by Yarden. As well, and then on the do we also we have a circlet, three branches, salve, and tango. I think the salve might be a little bit overkill on the region. And a clarity as well on the courier. Too many items picked up from for Madu, I think. I don't know. So this courier is gonna be going camping in the jungle, I think, so you bring in the salve. Now the only problem with this is if Yarden is to ever spot it. That's going to be big trouble for uh, my dude here. Oh, so he's going to leave the clarity there, I see now. Of course, of course like Shadow Fiend could, the other Shadow Fiend could see this and go, Oh, hey, free clarity. Yoink. Bop. Kill it. So, as, as normal, Necromaster you picked up on one side, probably going to pick up on the other. Go ahead and do a YouTube repeat of this. Just to have that music going. So we have the blocks going here. It looks like uh, Yarden might be getting the better... No, it looks like actually Madu's got the better block, I think. It's closer to his tower right now. A little past Yarden 24's tower here. So yeah, Madu has got a slightly better block, so that's going to put Madu on the uphill the last hit there. See if he gets that range creep, he's not going to get that. Deny goes to the yard, no. And one tower, and no, nobody gets that one. Oh, Deny, take the Deny. There he goes, he got it. Remember those Denies give you souls too, and it's very important to get those souls. Yarden needing a little bit of harass here as well as creep aggro. Not deniable yet. Oh, he got the raise. So that puts Yarden in a bit of trouble here. Maybe that salve I'm gonna do is vindicated after all. Oh, barely missed the last hit. Get the deny, get the deny. He's n oh, Yarden takes the last hit. There it goes, that tower's gonna get that. There's no in-game audio for me. Uh, it's weird. Alright, and a raise. Yarden below half HP right now. That's strange that there's no sound on that. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, if you guys can hear me, try to say something in chat, I guess? I don't know. Say something in stream chat, I guess, if you're listening in game. Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on with that then. Anyway, got a couple last hits. Take a look at the CS here. We have, right now, and Madu is ahead. Oh, the last hit barely goes to Madu. Yarden tried for it. I'm gonna be playing next. Oh, and the rays. <clears throat> so now uh, Yarden is out of regen completely. That clarity is still sitting there. Drops a branch for it. I think it's a bottle coming on that courier, if I'm not mistaken. It is a bottle. So now just down to a wraith band. Yarden is getting a little bit behind. He's 4 CS down. Yeah, I think Madu might be getting the better stats now. Uh-oh. There's a lot of there's a lot of creeps there. Is he gonna get this? We got two of them! Look at the third one! 
Oh, Yarden is not gonna go for that deny. He could have had that deny. No. South popped on the Shadow Fiend. Good idea. We still have a prize here bottom that nobody's gone for yet, and I'm kind of surprised. But Yarden has picked up this rune. No bottle though, unfortunately. He's not gonna be doing too much for him. He probably should have waited for this courier that was bringing him that bottle. Now the clarity's been used on Madu. It's gonna help him stay a little bit more and not have to use his bottle charge, especially since he missed that rune. He isn't a bottle crow either. He can probably stand to wait till four minutes, which is coming in 20 seconds anyway. Now the illusion just pops instantly. So the Yarden at 11 souls, Madu at 20. I think Madu's definitely got the upper hand here. That's 18 more damage. Go for that deny. He, Madu really needs to take that deny right there on his left. Come on, take it. There he goes. And Yarden's gonna go for that one. He's not. Get the deny. Get the deny. There he goes. And we have a prize spotted bottom here. And Yarden gets a nice catapult for himself. And Ray's gonna get one of the creeps. Unfortunately, the tower tower was hit it too high there. And now we have Yarden going down here for this prize. He is going to find it. And we have a little bit of pushing going on here. Remember, you still can win by one tower, so neither tower is really taking damage at all. Yeah. Both towers are in pristine condition. This may, be a, this may be a win by CS as nobody has died yet. It's already, fi already almost five minutes in. And now we have a full-on wand picked up on Yarden. Is he going to get the recipe? Raze goes out. It does not hit Madu, it looks like. Oh, the haste rune has popped. He's going to go after this. He's going to die this. Is Yarden going to be too greedy? Will this be a kill? No, he's not! He's not gonna take it. He probably could have dove that, maybe. He's got his bottle back, though. My dude is gonna be just fine. Haste Rune is about halfway out. He may have been able to turn around and still go for the kill. I think he probably could have gunned it, I think. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. He sees it and he wants it, but he's not gonna get it. But he's gonna go and push the tower a little bit. So that may be something I'm gonna do is to deal with. Oh, and a raise hits Yarden right in the face. So looking at items, I think one thing that Yarden really needs some boots. It's going to help him get runes a lot easier, especially that rune that's coming up in about, 50, about 10 seconds here. And generally, I've found that in these 1v1s, like, FaZe will probably win you the game. I mean, you could go, you could make an argument for Treads too, but I think FaZe will also do, do work too. Rune is spotted. It is bottom right now. It's another illusion right here. Uh, and it looks like nobody's going to find it. And that's a full-on Wraith Band picked up. Magic Wand picked up on Yarden. Take a look at those souls here, and we have Madu going for that bottom rune. 28 souls of 24, so I definitely think that Madu is going to look at the upper hand. He's about 5 CS ahead, but Yarden is getting that gap back. By the way, for those that don't know, I'll be playing next against Can of Wopat, against Empty Can of Wopass. So that'll be the next match after this one. There it goes. So yeah, my dude is getting a CS. The elu one illusion popped. He needs to go ahead and take that last hit. He's gonna take it. Take it. Oh, he got it. The raises. The raise is real. Raise the roofs. So Yarden's definitely got enough to buy some boots. I don't know why he won't buy boots. He really should buy at least brown boots, even if he can't decide on phaser treads. He's probably gonna buy them right now. He's kind of standing still like he's buying something, or he's just thinking hard. I don't know. The thinker shadow beam. Oh, the raise hits you, hits the garden right in the face. It's quite a lot of damage. These are maxed out raises, 300 damage a piece. That's an easy last hit. Deny. There he goes. All right, that's a maxed out Necromastery, 31 souls. I really think that I haven't, I'm surprised none of these guys have bought a flying courier yet. It would really help them if either of them missed the rune. It's going to help them a whole lot. They can bottle crow it, and they can not be too far down just because they missed a rune. As I mean, you think about it, you're not going to get every rune necessarily. Somebody's if, okay. It looks like Yarden's camping the rune. I don't really recommend this here. He's missing out on a lot of CS, and he really needs that other level of Necromastery. Rune is bottom. It is a little invis, so this may be a kill. 
I don't think he's got the damage for it, especially without the 36 soul ult. They really need like level 10. They really gonna need like level 9 at least with a 36 soul ult to do it. Probably going with that invis is not a very good idea. I don't think he's gonna pick up this kill. Unless he can manage to like get him to eat three raises, and I don't see it. I just don't see it happening. I don't think he can see this. Let's toggle the vision here. You can see this actually. He can see this. All right, there he goes. The raise is real. One raise, two raise, three raise, and that is first blood goes to the Arden. Well played, Yarden. Well played. He was very patient and waited there with that invis rune that, that paid off for him, definitely. We got a little, a cute little octopus courier going back. Or the oculopus, oculopus courier. I like that courier, it's nice. Where did that come from? It was an international courier. Sweet. Alright, so we still have, um, we have to do down for five more seconds. We have one minute left in the match. Um, let's see. It's gonna be ki it's gonna be determined by kills first. So if the match ends at ten minutes, Yarden will win. The thing is that Madu isn't heading CS and tonight. If Madu can pick up a kill here, though, he has a chance. But he's got about thirty seconds to do it. Or he's gonna lose. Madu is just gonna YOLO it. Go ham! Is he gonna get this kill? He may win the game with this. One more raise. That's all he needs. And there it goes! Madu's gonna win! Less than 30 seconds! A very close match! 20 seconds! This is gonna be it! I don't think Garden can make this back. 25 seconds, it might as well be GG. Madu has got this one in the bag now. Probably sitting in Fountain for Garden was the better idea, maybe. Actually, I don't think Madu realizes that he won. Game is paused by Yarden. That is GG.